What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Bowman Chrome University football. This is a 12 box break. Six boxes of Breakers Delight, six boxes of Hobby Picker Team number one, guys. It was a new release yesterday. Very surprised we didn't get at least one of these done yesterday, guys. This stuff is fire. Now, of course, you know, now that, uh, you know, got a little bit of a. Uh, uh, you know, contract with the NCAA with the NILs, you know, able to uh, to kind of make products again and, you know, try to get that Bowman first feel on the football side. So, of course, chasing some prospects of players that are still in college. Some of them may have first, some of them may be a prospect already second year, third year, but chasing some big names like Travis Hunter, Shadur Sanders, Marvin Harrison Jr., Drake May, that are future first rounders in the NFL. So, here's everybody there, guys. Boom. And I will say, for the people that were watching on Fanatics Live yesterday, you know, we had some really bad cases in the uh, four cases we did, but my wife ended up picking some boxes for, or some cases for the uh, other breaks and did extremely well, so I had her pick again. <laughs> so she picked some again today, so hopefully uh, she'll go two for two this time. I'm very superstitious about that, so I let her choose again. <laughs> Alright, so six to the left, six to the right. We're gonna roll a die. One, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right side. And it's a three. So one, two, three. So this half here will be for the next break, which again we could run back today. And then we'll do the same thing, of course, in uh, the Breaker's Delight case once we get to that. But we'll break the hobby first. I did not see a Harrison Jr. with us last night, but we did pull a lot of his colors. I pulled a variation of Harrison Jr. as well. Uh, we hit about like three Shooter Sanders autos yesterday, a couple Bo Nicks. Um, <clears throat> we had a couple Caleb autographs yesterday too. A couple Reds. We had a, I had a really nice Michael Penix orange. The 25 autograph too. We gotta show that to some of the, <laughs> the Washington guys that are in the stream. Gotta send it to chat and stuff. But no, we didn't hit a Harrison Jr. But hopefully we maybe hit one here though. Yeah, you, you did extremely well, Eric, man. You killed it. Yeah, we had to kind of tell people, man, just buy LSU in like our half casers, because man, they hit so much in the four caser. Now, granted, it was four cases, but LSU's checklist is very big for their price point. So I will rip two boxes at a time. And then we'll go with the next ones. These are now way more than four packs, unless it's just two colors.
All righty. Here we go, here we go. Here's Shador. Watson. We got Amara Williams for USC Green Shimmer. Number to 99. USC is Josh Morgan. Caleb Early Risers. Dante Moore. Robbie Ashford for Auburn. Now again, obviously there's about like 40 teams, 40 programs that are in the all under the university, so Auburn is one of them. So that's gonna go to Matt Smith. There's a Marvin Harrison Jr. first. Caleb insert. And Kobe Prentice for Alabama. Going to Steven Villa out of 75. We got Bronson Barron. That's another one for the combo. Big Kahuna, Cade Klovnik for Clemson. And that's going to Will. Primetime. Deckers. Yeah, dude, that shit was nice. I'm gonna try to buy it off of Alan. Uh, Alan, off of Alan. Shadour and Frank Gore Jr. How about that for Southern Miss? That's going to the combo spot, which is Matt Smith. We got Christopher Mazina. Alabama Purple Shimmer. Shaz Preston, which again is not going to be numbered. Purple Shimmers aren't. We got a Dallas Turner for Alabama. Going to Steven. Autograph. <clears throat> CJ Donaldson Jr. Jalen McMillan. Nice a little Washington purple color match to 399. Washington is D Mac. And Malik Neighbors for LSU Ben with that one. Gold Shimmer Justice Ellison for Wake Forest to 50. That's another one for the combo spot, Matt Smith. Uh, Andrew, Lacuba, Marvin Harrison Jr. There's a Travis Hunter first. Braylon Allen. And whoa, back to back colors. Will Rogers. I think that was that pack I thought that was super huge. Out of 299, it's a combo spot. And then BC and Ryan O'Keefe. Another combo spot, orange out of 25. All right.
Well, it could it could happen, Mike. I mean, this could be a very loaded draft class again, especially if Caleb decides to leave. I mean, you got Caleb, Drake May, Bo Nix. I mean, you'll have other quarterbacks that will probably, you know, declare that, you know, could be top first rounders. I mean, if Caleb does go after, end up going out and committing to the draft, it's, it's going to be pretty wild. How many teams are really going to trade up for a kid like that? I mean... <clears throat> and I think I think he should go out <laughs> anyways just just because you know obviously you never know what happens he comes back to USC yeah he's getting paid a lot of money but then he has a career ending injury and then it's over didn't even get to make it to the league something crazy like that but <clears throat> I don't think he'll have to worry about like these worst teams you know drafting him because you might get some teams like the Patriots or somebody that has a bunch of ammo potentially right or like like the Bears, right? That already got that ammo from last year, and uh, him actually go to a decent team, not like a horrible team. Well, yeah, that'd be funny. Of course, he would get like another prototypical pocket quarterback. Not to say JJ's not like mobile or anything like that. I think I think it's safe to say that they need a quarterback that's mobile enough. I mean, <clears throat> I think the pro typical po pocket passer quarterback is pretty much done with now. You need a you need a dual threat, a guy that could move. You know, that's just the way football is nowadays. Like imagine how like Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, you know, those type of quarterbacks would be like thriving in this league now. Where back in the day, people kind of hated him. They loved the Peyton Mannings of the world. They loved the Tom Brady's of the world, you know? Oh, that's what I'm saying, Nick. A lot of teams will go after him. Tons. So, I mean, I don't think he should worry about, like, going to the worst team possible because it might not even work out that way. I mean, the Bears potentially hold, like, the number one and number two pick. You know, they have so much ammo there. And there's other teams that could have multiple first-rounders or offer great big-time players to move up in the draft. So, this could be one of the craziest drafts, like, in a while where not only is the quarterbacks going off the board, but just massive trades going out, you know? Like Michael Penix, I think he's eligible to go out in the draft if you wanted to, right? From Washington too? I don't remember if he's a sophomore or he's a junior. No, that's the thing. I mean, that's that's the thing I'm saying. Like, you, you, you got to just go out. I mean, unless you're, like, wanting to, like, solidify your legacy and, like, maybe come back to win a national championship or win another Heisman. I mean, even then, bro, like, it's, it's tough because, yeah, you never know what happens. Like, there's been times where quarterbacks decided to stay. Like, let's say Matt Barkley. Now, Matt Barkley is a different quarterback from Caleb. He didn't win a national championship. He didn't win a national championship or potentially didn't even win a Heisman, but, you know, if he would have went out his junior year from USC, he would have been a first-rounder. Maybe, maybe, uh, 
maybe his whole complexity of his career changes, but then he decides to go back to USC for like unfinished business. We can win a national championship. That didn't happen. Had a horrible season. And then became like a third, fourth rounder. You know? It doesn't always play out that way. Oh, is Panix a transfer? Oh, I don't know that. Another one of those damn transfers, huh? So Panix, Caleb, and Bonix all transferred in. I don't know. I like Shador. I, I think he needs to stay and get better, though. I don't think he should go out. I think even Dion said he's not, but... I mean, I'm sure at the end of the day, it is Shador's call if he wants to go out. Damian Martinez. He needs to He needs to get a little bit better. I don't think he's quite there yet. Marvin Harrison. Kate Klubnick. Trey Benson. Uh, 295 out of 299. And Brandon Innes for the Ohio State. Buckeyes. What a damn. I thought he played two years at Jackson State. But I could be wrong. Maybe you were right. But I, th I thought he was draft eligible already. If he wants to go out. Trayshawn Ward. And a 99. James Williams. Brock Bowers. Greg May, little shimmer. Got a green for the Florida State Seminoles, Jared Versi. To 99. I have no idea where the hell is Fraser Park. <laughs> is that a city? Jalen McMillan, Michael Pratt, quarterback out of Tulane. Oh, 70 miles from home. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really go up north, actually, so I have no idea. Good for somebody up north, 70 miles from LA. Coming a freaking billionaire. Bo Nix, what a little green color match. Beautiful. 24 out of 99. Go Ducks, William, prime time. There's Bonix again. And Xavier Worthy, orange shimmer autograph for Texas.
You know what, Chad? I would agree with you, but you know there will be somebody that will buy them in a heartbeat because they're just in it to flip. <laughs> you know, honestly. You're going to see so many people want to buy the bears. But the normal customers would be like, yeah, I'll just wait for the R&B. <laughs> but no, it's, it's a possibility. Isn't that crazy to think about? Like, the bears could just move on from Justin Fields and draft Caleb and Marvin Harrison, one and two. That'd be ridiculous. Roy Dell Williams. Okay, club man. Marvin Harrison, Shador. Troy Franklin, Shimmer. And Blake Corman. Nice. From Michigan. Chad, there you go, man. Two more hobby boxes, guys, and then we can go to the HTA, uh, which is the Breakers Delight. Sutton. JVon Cohen. Oh, sorry, Eric. I couldn't look at the checklist. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Marvin Harrison refractor and a Marvin Harrison orange shimmer. We'll take that for the Ohio State. Dan, three out of 25. And how about a little Travis Hunter for Colorado? Just a base, but a nice one there for Sean in Colorado. And Mini Diamonds, Travis Hunter, purple, out of 199. All right, racking up a little, little, little buffaloes here at the end of the hobby. Campbell. Bo Nix, we got a Bowers insert rambling. Raheem Sanders, Purple Shimmer. Oh, and Kendall Milton, Pink Mini Diamonds autograph for Georgia, 25 out of 150. Georgia, it's going to Will. She's prime time. <laughs> it's all good, Eric. All right, last hobby box, guys, and then we'll go to the Breakers Delight. Troy Franklin. Green. Jatavion Sanders for Texas. Will with that one to 99. Will Johnson. Out of 399. And Braylon Trice for Washington. Which is going to DMAC to 499 for Fractor Auto. Yeah, for the Minnesota 
I forgot what their, I forgot what their mascot is. Where are they again? Gophers, no? That, that's a different one, right? Um, that's a purple. Going to the combo spot, Matt, Matt Smith. Golden golfers, yeah, I, I knew it was something. Golfers. Drake me. Shador. Marvin Harrison. And we should have one more autograph here. It's gonna be a big Kahuna auto. Wow, Marvin Harrison Jr. Big Kahuna autograph. There we go, Mama. There goes that man. And it's 34 out of 150. Nice. Dan with the Ohio State. Bye guys. Oh, sick, Eric. That's awesome, man. It's always fun to follow some, like, local kids. Luckily, my high school sucked at sports, mainly. <laughs> Mine is soccer, really. Soccer, they're really good, but... Uh, don't really... Can't really follow too much, but... In our league, there might have been a couple players that went to, like, UCLA, USC. But not too many. My sports league wasn't really that good, minus soccer. Like our, our soccer team though was like CIF champions like almost every other year. All right, so there's the autographs here. We'll have to top load all of them, but we'll top load them at the end. But some solid stuff, <laughs> not bad. Big Kahuna, Marvin Harrison Jr., Orange Shimmer, Worthy, Travis Hunter, and Travis Hunter Bath, uh, base. All right, <clears throat> so let's now switch scenes. And uh, we're gonna do the uh, Breakers Delight case now. Now, of course, it is a half case break as well, so gotta rip it open and then we'll choose which half we're gonna use for this one. Second half will be for number two. Same thing, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side, guys. Here we go. And it is a two, one, two, three. So again, these boxes here will be for the next break, which again, we could run it back today, guys. A lot of those teams that actually, you know, were via a pack filler, haven't really hit much. I haven't called too many names out. You know, Clemson, I feel like we haven't hit like a cold club like yeah, we hit some nice colors maybe, but like we have nothing for Wisconsin. Oregon just got a nice Bo Nix green. No auto though. Notre Dame, Miami. So. <laughs> Audio went out. Sorry, you guys can hear me? Let me know if I'm good. Oh wait, you put never mind. All right, here we go guys. So again, just like Breakers Delight Top Scrum, skipping all the base, silver, some colors, and two autographs. Marvin Harrison Jr., a little, little shock. Cam Rising for Utah to 399. Jalen Berger to 399. Purple. Then we got JJ McCarthy for the Wolverines for Michigan. And then first autograph is Antonio Gates Jr. And second auto, Troy Franklin. Nice. Big time receiver there for the Oregon Ducks. Hopefully he has a big game against uh, Washington. So Michigan State's going to go to the all other universities and then Oregon as well.
Next one. Emeka, Barnes, Benson, Wiggins, Hunter, Chaz Preston, Orange, Shock, Badger to 399 for Arizona State, then Alabama, of course, Steven, Rashad Dubinian for Arkansas. Let's go to the combo. And so it's this one here, Bronson Barron for Western Kentucky. <laughs> and we got Will Johnson. And for Clemson, Phil Maffa. Clemson. Will with that one. And a nice one there for Michigan, Chad B. Purple Mini Diamonds. And Bo Nix. Da, 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 da. Wow. All right, here we go, guys. It's Kavis Marks, Fisher, Griffin. Ooh, is that a red? We got a red, Caleb Johnson for Iowa. That's gonna be out of five. And a McCord there for Ohio State. How about that red out of five, Caleb Johnson for Iowa. Three out of five. Running back, I don't know if he's good, but it is a first. It's gonna go to the combo, Matt Smith. We got a Damian Martinez for Oregon State Beavers, another one for the combo. We have C.J. Donaldson Jr. for West Virginia, another one for the combo. And nice, Kate Klubnik for uh, Clemson. Now again, yesterday too, guys, we had our delight cases and uh, and our uh, hobby cases. A couple of those cases we did had two Bo Nicks, two Klubniks. It also had two Caleb Williams. It was wild, guys. So. And like I said, even though some of these hits may have been popping out now, it doesn't mean they can't hit in the second half because I did not expect to hit two refractory Caleb's in the same case. And I believe it was from the uh, Delight. So that was pretty wild. All right, looks like we got an orange. Orange coming up. Brian uh, Thomas Jr., big time receiver there for LSU. Frank Gore Jr. to 299. Barnes to 399. Texas Tech here. And Bo Collins, orange. Shador. And it's Orande Gadsden for Syracuse, Ramblin' Man to 25. That's an awesome one. Syracuse also, I believe, part of the combo. Matt Smith, man, the combo team eats, you guys. Combo team eat. Damn, it's already five o'clock. I think the game starts at like 5 0 center. Here. Autumn Wind is a Raider. Shador, Refractor. Starks, Robinson, Milton, McMillan. Smell, Madon Jr. Will Rogers. 299, Michael Hall Jr., Troy Franklin, purple, out of 399. Then we have a Tavion Robinson with a Carson Beck for Georgia. William with that one. And a little Caleb, <laughs> early risers. 
Yeah, baseball's always been like that, bro. Baseball likes to have those weird time starts. Remember, Dodger games always started like at 710, 707. All right, last box, guys. I don't know, man. Beats me here. Just, just enough time for the people that run just a little late. You know, works perfect for them. Campbell, McDowell, Trice, White, Travis. We got a Carson Steel Orange Shock. Shockwave for UCLA. Fight, fight, fight. Evan. Montreal Johnson. Malik Benson. And Montreal Johnson was to $2.99. This is a $3.99. And then Everett is also the 399. And we got a JJ McCarthy for Michigan. Nice break for Michigan. And how about UCLA's true freshman quarterback, Dante Moore? Very nice. <laughs> UCLA Evan, again. It's like football. They start, they start football at 105 and 125 on the weekends, right? On Sundays, and it's like either 405 or 425. Like why? Why 25? Why 05? I just think it. I just must be with the programming, right? If the game starts at five exactly, you don't have, you don't have enough time to like talk about the game really quick with the commentators, do all this stuff. So if you just delay it a few minutes. You still have time to actually talk about the game, analyze it. Sideline reports, and then boom, 705. And then you get like one commercial to squeeze in before everything starts. <clears throat> All right, so here you go, guys. So nice, nice delay break. We had a lot of nice, uh, you know, quarterbacks here, but still looking for some of the bigger ones and potential bigger playmakers as well. This was not a bad half case of delight. So if you guys, <laughs> if you guys said want to run it back. I think uh, there's still a lot of potential, guys. Like, we've seen a lot of it yesterday. Uh, definitely still have a lot of chances of still getting a lot of nice hits, guys. <laughs> but yeah, guys, appreciate it. Break number one, Dunzo. Visit the website jazbeescasebase.com to get the second half going, guys. Thank you.